resell this. You know, I went thrifting. And I got all these wonderful glows. So stay tuned. Let's go through them all. Here we go. So first I'm going to start with a haul that actually I did two weeks ago that I still haven't gotten to photographing or listing. And both of these came from the exact same thrift store. Now this thrift store is my favorite. It's my honey pot. It's not uh, overpicked. It's not in the city. So I feel like it, it has a better chance of me finding great things. Now when I went two weeks ago, I basically was like, I'm done with this place. This place doesn't have anything. You know, it, it's not worth the extra drive because it's further. It's like a 25 minute drive out and then 25 minutes back. It's not worth the drive. Awful. So I'm going to show you what made me come up to that conclusion first. So here are a pair of vintage anthropology crops with embroidered detailing at the bottom. Now these were nice. Uh, it's just going to take me a little bit of time to research them and photograph them nicely. I have tried to find even others listings on it and I haven't been able to find anything. I have a PFF. I can't remember how to say her name but I'll. And she is like anthroholic <laughs> and so she's keeping an, out, an eye out in her catalogs but I haven't found any information on them so that's why I haven't listed them yet. Jessica Simpson, brand new with tags, size 12, has a cute little bow on the back, pockets. I figure at some point people are going to want dresses again. Next thing we have here is another dress from Hot Topic, brand new with tags, super fall. And I don't know why I'm sitting on it. Like I just don't know why, but these aren't even brands that I normally would pick up, but I picked them up because I needed to pick up something for driving all that way. I couldn't walk out with nothing. So anyways, so here's the dress. It's a cute little mini dress. No pockets. Size extra large. Retail was $32.90 American. This is a personal favorite. And I totally picked it up for me and then realized it wouldn't fit me, but it's fine. So it's no problema t-shirt. I think it's a pajama top, to be honest. It is a weekend edition and an extra large. But I'm not a crop top person or like, I just, I don't wear them, they're not for me. So as you can see, this is where my shirt normally ends. This wouldn't fit me, but it's so soft and it's cute. What if I make it into a pillow? That would be a cute pillow. It would match my new bedding sets. More on that, just watch Instagram. It's on its way. So this is Athleta tank top, uh, racer back tank top, ooh, and a medium, really nice highlighter, yellow accents, and then on the back, I absolutely hate picking up white, but this one has been good to me. Another Athleta racer back tank, and pink and green, yellow highlighter colors, really like that one, and again in a medium. And I don't know why, I just haven't gotten around to listening to this stuff. Like, I love listening to Athleta. This is a Disney part, or sorry, Walt Disney World cheetah print, or leopard print, I don't know, uh, with the little Mickey Mouse rhinestone detailing. Again, perfect time right now would be the time to list this. I don't know why I haven't listed any of this stuff. Michael, Michael Kors. Just a basic blue t-shirt with uh, some ruffles on the sleeve, flutter sleeve. There's a little um, metal logo on the side here. I don't normally pick up Michael Kors, but like I was saying, I didn't feel like this was a good haul day, so I picked up what I could. This one here is a really cool 80s themed button down tee. I really love the pattern on this one. Uh, it's probably not vintage just based on the tag here. It's not a vintagey tag. It's a little bit more updated, I guess. Not outdated, updated. Uh, it's rayon, size medium, it says 10, 12. That's a little hanger for the yoke. <laughs> I just thought it was a really funky pattern. So grab that one. 
This is the first time ever finding these out in the wild and they're brand new with tags. These are, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw this up. Adriano Gold Schmied. Just don't, don't, don't. So they are the cigarette stilt leg jean. And from the little research I did on it, they aren't available and they're an older style and I was just getting all the old stuff. I don't know. And last but not least, I got this cute little BB Dakota. Uh, that's, I believe, an Anthro brand. Yeah. Or Urban Outfitters. Anyways, BB Dakota sleeveless dress. It's got the little tassels there. And then it's got tassels on the bottom. I looked it up. I can't find any information on it. So this was just a total bust of a trip. I was not thrilled, happy, or anything with my trip, but I figured I better grab something. Well, it's not worth the trip anymore going out there. And, so, and then forgetful old me forgot to grab my pop over the weekend when it's on sale. So, you know, I always like a good deal. And so I forgot. And then we're sitting here at dinner on Monday and my husband's like, you forgot to go. And I was like, oh my God. So I looked it up on the flip app and the only place was no frills. And our only no frills is in Shediac. So there's the 25 minute drive. And I was like, well, I have to go to Shediac, but you know, if I go to Shediac, I'm going to want to stop at Frenchie's. And he's like, so go. And I was like, okay, bye. I like ran out the house. So that brings me to my newest haul. No further ado, let's get started on this recent haul. First thing I grabbed is this Looney Tunes corduroy uh, size large women's button down shirt, I guess. I don't know. It's not quite jacket thickness. It has these opalescent buttons and the detailing is just a little bit of embroidery right at the top and that's the extent of the details. And it has a little tweety right here. First time I've ever found this in the wild. It is rag and bone, size medium, jean jacket. Again, jean jackets are a wonderful staple to any wardrobe. So I was super excited about that. Cute little jean jacket. This is Rockin' Republic. And there's another brand. It's like something else, like similar. And people are like, ah, I picked up the wrong thing. I picked it up, I searched it, and forgot to put it back. So it came home with me. Oh, well. It's a uh, XXL, so I'm not upset about that. It has this cute little, has a button here, and then has some ruching on the side. A little full wrap business going on here. And a beautiful gray color. So I'm not, I mean, I'm not really terribly upset about it. Here, I probably don't have enough time to list it now. I'm still going to list it, but it might be something I hold on till, till next year. But it is a cute little holiday editions in a 3X. And it has... All these little Halloween embroideries down the, the neckline. It also has a little black inset, so it's not too revealing. It's very cute. I think it'd really be cute for like a teacher with like a witch hat. I know like Halloween's pretty much canceled this year, so Rona. This item here is a Batman crop top, size one X. Has little comics all around it. I had trailed a wanted thief to the circus where he had tried to loose me in the crowd. <laughs> this vintage Lily Pulitzer size medium. 100% um, cotton little like short sleeve bolero or like a cardigan I guess. Uh, it's definitely crocheted. So that is, I don't know if that's still cute or whatever, if that's still hot, but good cottage core pieces that I just scooped them all up. I grabbed, <laughs> I just sold a Halloween one so I couldn't help but grab a Christmas one. This one has cardinals and I think my sister said chickadees all over it. It's really cute. The last sweater is a Pendleton. Okay so this is the second time I found this brand out in the wild. I think last time was like last week. This one is 100% virgin wool from Portland, Oregon. Yeah, so, okay. 
Anyways, it is actually for a wool sweater and I hate the feel of wool. This is just a nice, soft, not like, I mean, I, I guess you could say it's a little itchy, but tell me this isn't cute. You got the little collar at the top, okay? It's a little short for my liking, but I could totally see someone with some high-waisted jeans rocking at this holiday season. Lord and Taylor, Kelly High Rise, straight leg, ankle length. Plaid, black and white plaid pants, brand new with tags. So they originally retailed for $94. There is a discount tag on it, but I'll just take that off. Uh, but yeah, couldn't help but grab these. And they are an 18W. So plus size for my closet. We'll move on to intimates. Okay, it's not that intimate. I grabbed this Victoria's Secret bra. I've heard from a few people that it, you should grab Victoria's Secret bras in similar sizes and bundle them together, but I haven't really ventured into that. This one here is a 36D, and it's called Body by Victoria Uplift No Wire. I really like the color, the feel, the, like, it looks doesn't look worn at all. Really nice and soft, and... Maybe it fits me, I don't know yet. It's about as intimate as it gets. So here we have the second time finding this brand as well. Uh, this is April Cornell, 100% cotton, vintage pajamas. It's got the little thing on the back. It has beautiful embroidery all around. And so this is the top and here's the matching bottoms. So. Nice, cute, matching PJ set. And you know what? Everyone's lounging around. Now you can lounge around in vintage PJs. This is Nanette Lepore. Like, this is gorgeous. Like, look how vibrant that, like, tomato red color is. It has this beautiful floral pattern throughout. It comes with the slip, so. Beautiful slip on the inside. And it's, and it's a size 10. So you could totally, or I think you could probably pull it off without the slip. It definitely has that vintage look to the style of it. I didn't do all the buttons. Uh, but it's got like the pleating down the front. Very cute, very sophisticated, beautiful. I'd like dress it, and it's just about the knee. Super long. Actually, it's more of like a midi. Maybe a max. It's probably a maxi because it's a... Uh, size extra small petite but it's by J. Jill another brand I haven't had much luck like finding J. Jill but it's J. Jill so I was kind of excited to find it and it's super like super comfy and stretchy this one here is from the North Face now these are like summer dresses but I plan to be in this business for the long haul so I don't mind I also find it's easier to pick up out of season than it is in season because everyone else who's shopping at the store regularly is buying in season. Anyways, it's a cute little, just a black North Face dress and I've never heard of, uh, but I looked at the little uh, RN number and it was the coveted Anthropology 66170. I know that it could also be Urban Outfitters, but I haven't really looked into it yet, but it was this cute like pinstripe almost, navy blue, red and white stripe, fit A-line dress. It has pockets, it is ready with tags. Regular retail is $59 and it was a size eight. And oh, the brand is, sorry, Larkin Wolf. Well, pretty much if it's brand new with tags, I make every excuse to pick it up. I don't know why, it's just how I am, I guess. This next brand is BB Dakota. This is the second time finding it. Remember, I found the other one earlier in the video. It's more of like a... I think it's like a sweater dress, honestly. Could just be tunic. It's a size small. It hits on me. It's just above my knee, so it's quite a long dress. Like a... Yeah. Free people! Coveted free people! I barely ever find free people, 
So I was kind of excited. Kind of like, it's like a mixed feeling. Like it's such an oversaturated brand. Like it was like, why bother? But I picked it up because it is a size 12. It's not a super teeny tiny size. And I was really excited about that. So it's kind of a small size 12. Like, hoo, hoo, hoo. but it's a size 12 nonetheless. So probably more like a size 10 or eight. J. Jill again, brand new with tags, J. Jill dress. It's about knee length. There's this really cool, I'm not gonna say it's tie-dye, it's not quite tie-dye. It is like a abstract watercolor type painting. It looks like flowers. Maybe that's just my imagination, I don't know. This Lily Pulitzer number, and this is in a double zero. I, I kind of hung my hot about this one. Just because, you know, double zeros, I don't, like, my focus is plus size, so I don't know that many people are coming to my closet to shop smaller sizes, but that's okay. So I did pick it up, double zero, very vibrant pink color, beautiful pattern, and we've got the detailing all down the front. I picked up this Lily Pulitzer number, which is actually in a size 14. So this is Lily Pulitzer. Jubilee. I've not looked up anything about any of these. Now this one here, it goes down to the little bows. Really cute. But the pattern gives me a very, like, cottage core, like, vibes. Like, it's just this beautiful, it's very different from the bright pattern of, like, being on a cruise to just lounging and drinking some tea. Right? You know what I mean? So, she's pretty stoked about that one there. This is a dress from J. Crew. It is a puff sleeve midi in a cute, delicate floral blue and pink floral print. There's no size on it, that's been cut out. I looked up the tag, and this is still available on the website for nearly $200. So, that's insane. It's from summer 2020. So I just, I think this is just such a cute little plus size cottage core piece to put in my closet. I think cottage core and vintage pretty much go hand in hand. I've kind of unintentionally stumbled into it simply because, you know, cottage core is like the longer length dresses, the floral print, the just look it up, Google it if you don't know what I'm talking about. And here's a completely different wavelength. You got this Harley Davidson little, it's almost like a tank top, could be lingerie, I'm not sure. It was in the dresses, but who knows. It has Harley Davidson on the back, and yeah, it's a good brand to pick up. Actually, I thought this was more of like a vintage thing, but the more I actually look at the tag, and though if it was just this by itself, it's like a nicer... It's a nicer, but it still could have been vintage, but it's this glossier tag in the background that's kind of giving away that it's not vintage. So this is an extra large, again, cottage core, very beautiful, um, vintage inspired, definitely vintage inspired, if anything. And it has, so it has a teal background. It has buttons all the way down the front. It's got like those ivory bone type buttons. And it has these beautiful floral and vibrant colors. So I just, I had to have it. You know, like, I had to have it, I had to keep it. <laughs> so it's a maxi dress. Very beautiful, button down front. This one here is a Lulu size small. It is, it's hard to tell, this is not the color of it. It's more of a, is that better? I don't think so. It's more of like an olive, it's, it's like a military green color. It's showing up brown on the screen. But I picked up one like this in a navy blue and it sold. And I absolutely, like Lulu's is a bolo for me. I don't know why, but I just love to pick them up. Last but not least, it's the piece we've all been waiting for. Okay. It is this beautiful yellow mini dress. And you're like, what is so great about this, Stephanie? It's just a floral yellow dress. It's not summer. What does it matter? So 
we don't have this here. So this is Reformation. If you know anything about Reformation, their retail prices are like insane through the roof, but their resale value is also really great too. So really happy about finding this for the first time in the wild. Definitely need to, you know, steam it out. And I will totally be posting it on eBay because the Canada comps are kind of awful. But this is easy. This would be an easy flip, even if I was to sell it in Canada. But I am going to try to get the most bang for my buck. So, yeah. And that's everything. I think I had a way more successful trip this time around. I did the exact same stuff since my first time around. But sometimes the stuff is just not there. So thank you for watching my really long haul, but it's just so much. There's so many items, and if you're still here, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching along. If you have any advice or comments, leave them down below. Make sure to share this video with your friends, with your fellow poshers, and like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell because I am going to try my hardest to put out stuff regularly. Okay? I don't know if it'll be weekly. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be more regular than what I've been doing. I tried to do it more regularly before, but it wasn't working for me. But now we're going to get into schedule. Okay. And if you liked anything here, send me a message. I'll hook you up. Or you can just go to my posh closet. You know that it's all going to be there too. And if you're in the States and you're not too sure, send me a message. I'll list it on eBay just for you. All right. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Last but not least, it's a piece de resistance. Last but not least, it's a piece de resistance.